name is Tao Ming Chen. I am the president of the Chaoyang University of Technology, Taiwan. This university was established in 1994. So far, we have five colleges, including 23 undergraduate program and 23 master program and five PhD program as well. We have around 16,000 students on campus. 15 years ago, we start our vision. We try to let this university become an international university. How can we achieve this uh, international status? We think two things must be done. First, we have sent a student in CYUT to go to abroad to explore their vision. Secondly, we have to recruit more international students to form a global village on our campus. But how can we achieve that status? And how can we make the, uh, the global recognize us? We think the best solution is to be ranked in the world university ranking. So I'm proud to tell you that our university uh, was ranked uh, top 1,000 university in the world, top 350 in both Asia and the emerging economies university ranking according the times the higher education. And uh, the next step, we are going to recruit more international students to my campus and we are going to support more students to go abroad to study and explore their region. As the president of Chaoyang University of Technology, I welcome you all to come to my university and study in my university to pursue your bright future. It's my pleasure to be at uh, Chaoyang University of Technology in uh, Taijun, China, and interviewing Dr. Yu, Assistant Vice President for International Affairs, uh, Office of International and Cross Strait Cooperation. So I hope uh, Dr. Yu will give uh, uh, comprehensive information about the international programs for future uh, students from Mongolia and. Uh, let me begin with my first question. So, Dr. Yu, thank you very much for having us today. And it's my pleasure to be here. So, please tell us various opportunities at your university as a student and why international students should choose to study at your university. Secondly, what are the different programs and services that attract international students? Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. It's my pleasure uh, to be here. Uh, to tell uh, some information about uh, CYUT. And uh, uh, for the questions that uh, uh, Mr. Baku yes. just asked, and I think the uh, best part for CYUT could be the destination for yes. international students would be the quality of education. As you may know that uh, most of our programs uh, have been certified by international uh, quality certification organizations such as uh, Washington ACO, So ACO, and Sydney ACO. So once you get to the education here, you will be recognized by uh, many institutions worldwide. Uh, that's the first part. And the second part is that uh, the students life here. Yes. Uh, uh, every uh, faculty member here uh, are very uh, is very uh, caring about the students. Uh, we spend most of our time uh, to, with the students, not only for teaching, uh, we also uh, consult uh, the students for their lives, their uh, extracurricular activities, etc. And uh, Taichung City yes. uh, alone is a very lovely, delighted city. Uh, they are full of uh, opportunities for cultural life. 
uh, so you can enjoy your life here. So I think uh, uh, in terms of uh, education and life, I think CYUK is uh, one of the best uh, choice for you to come to Taiwan, yes. So would you tell me about the, how the quality of life in your university town, and please tell us about the various outside classroom activities that students can take part in besides their school programs. Uh, as I, I just mentioned that yeah. uh, uh, Taichung City uh, is the second largest city in Taiwan in terms of the population. Yes. And uh, it's also the cultural city, we say, uh, of Taiwan, a uh, cultural capital. So you can have a, uh, go to an opera house here, uh, science museum and uh, uh, many other museums here. And also, many uh, Taiwanese foods was invented here, as, such as uh, bubble milk tea. Yes. Uh, I think you, you must have enjoyed that. Yes. And uh, also, uh, the uh, pineapple cake. Uh, yes. Everybody come to Taiwan will enjoy a pineapple cake. And uh, also, there's a, a metropolitan, I would say, because it's uh, the second largest city in Taiwan, uh, provide many diversified yes. uh, lives. Uh, for uh, the students and for faculty members. So um, I know that many Taiwanese universities have different uh, clubs that the students yep. were interested in. So how about here at CYT? So what are the best are the clubs and organizations available for international students and any extracurricular activities that students can take part in? For example, that. There's a program I would know that Taiwan host family program or like in a cultural activity. So how they see why to deal with this in terms of this um, cultural activities for international students? Yeah, right. Uh, we have uh, more than 50 uh, clubs in this university, including some academic uh, oriented uh, clubs and uh, some uh, for leisure or uh, some uh, for uh, sports. And uh, we also have uh, the host family program. Yes. Everybody, uh, every faculty members, we uh, take care of uh, some numbers of international students, just like myself. I have uh, uh, five uh, 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 host family students uh, with me. And uh, we also have, uh, uh, we also have activities like uh, holiday yes. activity to go to enjoy your experience. Uh, uh, Taiwanese culture. Uh, so every weekend uh, we will organize stu international students, uh, bring them to uh, some uh, sightseeing spots like uh, Samun Lake or Alistair or in uh, Taipei. So the students uh, here uh, will uh, have the opportunity not only to uh, stay and educate, uh, to receive the education study here, but also have the opportunity to see the other parts of Taiwan. So please describe some of your major facilities that may be appealing to international students, such as uh, student center, library, research centers, or sport facilities, arts and cultural centers at CYT. Yep. Uh, we have one of the best uh, library in Taiwan, uh, as it has been copied by uh, many uh, international organizations, uh, including uh, more than 50 universities wow. in uh, China. They come to here to learn how to uh, build a model library. Yeah. Yes. So if the students come to, to study in CYUT, they will love it. Uh, I hope you also have this opportunity to uh, experience our library. Yes, we will. And uh, we also have sports field. And uh, in this year, we have more than 100 uh, students from Vietnam. Oh. They bring the soccer. <laughs> wow. We will organize soccer team. We used to have a so very strong soccer team. But uh, then, uh, because of the uh, decrease of international students uh, from Vietnam or some uh, soccer favored uh, countries, uh, then uh, these years we will uh, organize this team again. And uh, also some other facilities such as the language center, we uh, offer more than 10 languages, uh, including uh, uh, Southeast part or in European languages, so students can come and uh, uh, register for international language. Uh, so uh, I think also the computer labs. Actually, in Taiwan, the education not only happened in the classroom. Uh, 
the whole industry will be our uh, lab. So, uh, for example, uh, we are very strong in artificial intelligence. Uh, and because Taiwan is the center for the uh, industry, pre precision yes. industry, uh, precision manufacturing, and uh, uh, many uh, precision uh, industry manufacturers are connected with our research lab here. So uh, when uh, they encounter some uh, te technical problem, they will come to uh, us and uh, we'll we, our students will solve the problem uh, on site yes. rather than in the lab. So that's a very good uh, practice uh, experience for the students. And my last question is, uh, I already heard that CYT already received a number of students from Mongolia. And uh, so what is your experience with the Mongolian students at CYT? Yes, I uh, knew someone uh, because we had uh, the first uh, Mongolia students uh, and that's the semester, I think. And uh, they, uh, uh, they uh, it's just the beginning. Uh, yes. And uh, my experience with uh, Mongolian students is that they are very energetic, yes. <laughs> very uh, uh, full uh, of uh, well, power or something. So I, I like to, uh, uh, to work with them. And uh, I wish more and more Mongolian students will come and uh, Taiwan is uh, another one totally different uh, place uh, compared with uh, Mongolia. So uh, if uh, uh, I have a chance, we would like to ha attract more uh, Mongolian students, and I will uh, uh, ensure you that uh, we will take good care of them. So I want you to say the welcome message to future students who are watching this video and who are willing to uh, come and study at CYT. So what would you say to the Future students as a welcoming message. Okay. Uh, hello, uh, uh, students or youth from Mongolia. Uh, this is the CYUT. Uh, we will hug you uh, if you choose the CYUT. Uh, we provide not only the quality education, but the best life uh, in Taiwan. Uh, uh, one of the best part will be that the living cost is much lower compared with Taipei. Yes. So please come to CYUT. We will take good care of you. Enjoy you, you will start here. Thank you. So thank you, Professor, for having a time with us and uh, giving a very uh, descriptive information for the students. So thank you very much. So we are at the CYT and we are, we are meeting with uh, Professor Tang, Director of Information Center and he's Associate Professor in Department of Information Management. And uh, during, this, uh, during the introduction of your presentation, I found that you have uh, had one uh, student from uh, Mongolia. So if possible, can you please just um, share your thoughts? About the experience with Mongolian students, how did they just, um, how was their study, and how were their like personal uh, characteristics were about their experience? Okay. Um, the student from Mongolia uh, University of uh, Science and Technology. Uh, she's a, uh, she's female and a very bright girl. And they need to um, train their faculty to to involve in more advanced technology. So Taiwan is their first choice. 
So they have uh, some uh, academic exchange with us and uh, send the, the, the student here. And uh, during the time, I was the uh, head of the department and uh, I was her advisor. Yes. And uh, she took some courses uh, from undergraduate to graduate level and uh, she attained the master's degree. Then she became one of their uh, very competitive faculty in their uh, department. So they think uh, studying in Taiwan, especially in Chaoyang University, is very worthwhile and uh, very uh, can achieve a lot of uh, results. So this, uh, because we our department has very strong research power and we have a lot of very good facilities which can now uh, um, elevate the, the, the research quality. Now we also, our faculty publish a lot of research papers, so we are very famous in the world. Yes. As an information management is becoming more and more popular and more and more important and nowadays, so uh, I believe that many Mongolian young, young youth and uh, many Mongolian uh, information management engineers, maybe they are thinking to move to the next destination, for example, let's say, if they want to study at the CYT, so what would be your welcoming message to them and uh, give a brief description about your program? Mm -hmm. our, un our university is a very, very kind university, very good university. We welcome all students from all, all, all over the world. And we have a very a strong uh, international program for students. So they, the, the international student came here and they can uh, be taken care of, well taken care of, and uh, our faculty are very, um, very kind, and uh, we, we, we like to give uh, international, uh, international student guides and uh, help them to uh, uh, have a good career, in, um, not only in academia or in industry. So we have a lot of uh, international students here, so our program is very uh, 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 material. Yes. Um, yeah. So there's no problem actually to force international students to stay here. It's very easy to uh, to move here and uh, get on their study load. So thank you very much for your time and hope this uh, uh, presentation of this information is very helpful for the mm -hmm. uh, future students who are willing to come and join uh, CYT, especially your department. So, yes. And I, I'm i pretty sure that maybe within the near future, your department and your international program will be fulfilled with the number of students from the qualified students from the who are mm -hmm. uh, who are willing to study CYT. And, and thank you very much. And mm -hmm. I wish you all the best for you and your faculty members in the future studies. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. So we are here at the CYT and we are visiting the College of Science and Engineering and uh, we are with uh, Professor Chen, the yes. Chair Professor of, and the Dean of the College and Professor Xu from the same department. And uh, uh, first of all, I would like to say a big thank you for having us and uh, with you during a busy schedule. And uh, I would like to ask uh, you about, uh, can you please describe this uh, international program. So how many um, students from how many countries and then how the program is designed and the, the features of the program and maybe it will be helpful for the future students who are willing to study from Mongolia. So please uh, describe the program briefly. Okay. <clears throat> I think uh, uh, first uh, I, will, I will be uh, very appreciate you give us that, uh, our opportunity to uh, talk about the program uh, we designed especially for the Mongolia students uh, in the Department of Construction Engineering. And uh, um, on this program uh, has uh, several uh, special features. Yes. Uh, first, uh, this is uh, uh, we have a, a, a good uh, program for theoretical and the practice. So students ha can have a very good uh, education in the theory and also in the lab. They can do it by hand. And also uh, they have uh, capstone courses. Yes. The capstone courses, which uh, they can solve a, 
a problem using the the knowledge they 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 have uh learned in the three years, and uh, at the final year there will be an internship. So we have a very good relationship with the a local uh, construction company yes, yes, and yes. also the uh, um, and uh, they have offers a several position in each company yes. so they can have a paid internship yeah. and uh, uh, so uh, they can have uh, both a uh, uh, course in school also in the company I think this is the advantage we offered and we also have very good uh, faculties. Yes. Our faculties have uh, we have twenty one yeah. faculties in our department, and uh, <clears throat> uh, half of them are graduate from the. We all got PhD yeah, from, the, uh, uh, from the from uh, the US. Yes. Uh, yes. Half of them from US and yes. half of them from the famous university in Taiwan, yes. and uh, our faculty member uh, have a. Uh, uh, many faculty members have the PE license, yes. professional engineering professional license. license. Yes. yes. So they are good in research, also in practice, in real engineering problem. So that's the advantage. Okay. So um, I, I would say that the engineering program is like becoming very popular and very important. For example, in Mongolia, we do have a, a certain number of uh, universities and who just conduct this program yes. and then I know that many young people and maybe some uh, recent graduates are willing mm -hmm. to uh, change their next destination for example mm -hmm. they want to get a master's oh, degree really? here and yes, maybe uh, the sure. CYT would, would be the very yeah. good choice for yes. them and I hope that maybe Professor Shu will give some kind of information about how uh, they what would you just say for the uh, students from Mongolia as a welcome message. So what you can give? Uh, we plan a professor a professional course uh, uh, for the a uh, special for the Mongolia students uh, according to IEET uh, regulations. Yes, yes. Uh, mm -hmm. to uh, gear the student to the international standard. So mm -hmm. we uh, plus we have a. Uh, uh, 21 full-time doctoral faculties and the two uh, post-doctoral researcher, uh, three technician, uh, 10 research assistants. So we have a strong, uh, yes. very strong department. Yeah. So my question would be, that, is this program taught in English or is it in Chinese? Oh, or? in English. In English. Yeah. So yes. do you uh, teach, do you offer the courses only for undergraduates? So is it available as well as for masters and yes. PhD? So we have um we have uh the full uh, spectrum. Yes. We have undergraduate yes. and the master and the and PhD, the PhD okay. degree. Yes. So all yes. level. So, yeah, he, yes. they can go all all, up, the, all way up. All yeah. way up. Yes. 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 So we now have a ten uh doctoral degree student and uh, fifty uh, master degree student and uh, five hundred undergraduate student. Now. So do you have uh, any Mongolian students in your program? Or not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Right. So yes. I hope that uh, yes. in the near future, the the this program will be fulfilled with the number of uh, qualified, yes, uh, yes. energetic students from Mongolia who right. are willing to join your program and yes. who mm -hmm. will be the who will be the respected, who will be the qualified workforce yes. when they go home back when they go back home. Yes. So they will be have a challenges to. Yeah. Uh, use their knowledge which obtained here and then they will lead some constructing projects. Yeah. Yeah. So I hope that uh, your alumni will be the best uh, qualified uh, workforce, uh, yeah. working professionals, yeah. uh, which uh, will be the benefit, which will benefit the, not only the companies, but also the country itself, Mongolia. So I know that uh, you during these past years, you have already trained a number of uh, students in different levels from uh, many yes. countries. So yes. mm -hmm. I hope this video will help to uh, to give the inf information about CYT, especially the College of Science and Engineering. And then those who are watching this video will uh, be willing to join the program in uh, near future. So thank you very much for your time. And hope I will hope to see 
uh, Mongolian students for my maybe my next visit. Okay. So uh, I wish you the, all the best for my, myself and uh, our colleagues, to you and the, all the faculty members. So thank you very much. So hello everyone. I'm here with a group of Indian students who are studying at CYT and then uh, we are ready to hear about from them the, about their student life experience and then information will be given about CYT. So um, please introduce yourself one by one. Hello, I'm Soumya and I've come from the western side of India that is from a place called Pune near Mumbai. I am doing postdoc here in the Department of Information Management and this is my fifth year in Taiwan. Hi, my name is Shweta. I'm here for two years now. I'm a master's student studying business administration here. Yes, I am Dr. Vimal Kumar. Uh, uh, currently, I am doing my postdoctoral here in Department of Business Administration. Uh, I did my B.Tech, M.Tech and Ph.D. Uh, from India. Uh, basically, I am from India and uh, I did my PhD from IIT Kanpur. So I hope and, uh, you are enjoying life here in China. And my first question to you is, um, what made you to choose this particular university, CYT? And uh, please explain the, some kind of features of this university. Oh, first of all, I did my PhD from Chongqing University. That is another university in, in Taichung. But when I was finding a job, uh, this university uh, really appealed to me because of the beautiful architecture and also a lot of good research happens here in terms of information management. So I thought that maybe I should apply here for a job and apparently there was a vacancy uh, coming up. So I tried. Yeah. So my next question to you is, uh, please share about what are the challenges as international students living in Taiwan, studying in Taiwan? Uh, in general, there, there are challenges like the language is a big barrier here because uh, most of the times we uh, do not have a background in Chinese and we have never spoken as such for, you know, in our own countries. So uh, that is one of the major barriers in Taiwan. Uh, but otherwise, I think uh, right now if, if we think about it, it's not a barrier because the people are very friendly here. So, uh, you know, even if they, we don't know each other's language, they are always ready to help us to solve the problem. And uh, yeah, so I just feel that it's actually not a barrier anymore. So thank you very much. And uh, I want to uh, ask a next question. And why do you think uh, CYT is an attractive place for international students? Um, as of now, they have introduced a lot of uh, different programs for international students and they always encourage people to join here and also they have some scholarship programs to support and allow people to have a kind of a good thing to join university and the most important part is here the faculty who especially teaches for international students are all studied somewhere in US or somewhere. They have a background of international universities by themselves. And that's a really a good part. So how is the academic environment and if it is different from your hometown, home country in India and what would you say in the few points, the, the difference between the Taiwanese and Indian yeah. educations? Yes, of course it is different. Um, according to the academics, the thing what uh, they like to do is make you understand what they are, what you are learning, and also the other thing is they have a good atmosphere built up near the students, which they want the student to learn as much as they can and grasp as much as they can, and it's a really a good thing which not everybody or every student can get. And especially in India, because of the number of students, it's really very less and well con concentrated students here. So, um, how do you like the local community? And are you actively involved in the ca in campus and off campus cultural activities? Uh, basically, uh, Chaoyang is basically focused on uh, to collaborate with other many universities like be, uh, good QS ranking universities. And uh, basically, I have seen because my professor is here, vice president, and I I, I, I always try to talk to him, and he basically just say he is trying to focus on international collaboration with big universities who have uh, uh, good QS ranking, such that just. Uh, 
two, two, just two weeks back, they, they went to uh, like uh, they went to IIT Kanpur for uh, uh, like uh, uh, MOU sign. And uh, just yesterday, uh, we have just one meeting there. There are many international uh, faculties with good universities, with good with good ranking. They came to just with uh, for MOU sign. And now Chaoyang will focus basically on uh, a, a, a not only teaching uh, as as well as uh, they focus on research to to improve their like research quality and teach, uh, teaching quality. So these are the so, um, as an international student. So please describe your student experience. So please maybe describe about your dormitory and library. So where you like to hang out most of the time. Uh, yes, basically I, I am living, uh, I am staying outside the campus. So yeah, just I stayed here only two months in dormitory too. So here people are very friendly, even not only students, faculties, other teachers, is uh, other staff members. So they they always recognize oh they are international students. So so they they try to always uh, like help to uh, to uh, to all and. <clears throat> So I didn't find any difficulties here, but initially it was like it was difficult to find some good shops to, to get everything from there and I am a vegetarian so it's very difficult to find uh, good food outside because they are uh, like for non-vegetarian. За бүгдрээс амьдсгана та бүхэнд энэ өдрийн мэдрэгийн нэмэгдэх шиг нь энэ дотор гэдэг. Би Гадвал удирдаг чинь сургалын нэгдүгээр хурц сурчгаад та хоёр дахь семестрт нь одоо оюутан сэлцэх үе ирж Тайванны Тайван улсын Чавян технологийн их сургалтад оюутан сэлцэх үе ирээд сурж байна. За манай сургал одоо нэгт одоо маш одоо оюутнуудыг хөгжүүлэх одоо маш таата орчин бүрдүүл бүрдүүлж өгсөн. Одоо тэгээд чөлөө цагаа зөв боловсон өөрөө хөгжүүлэхэд одоо бүхтлаар нь дэмжиж өгдөг. Тэгээд маш тоглог тав тухтай орчин бүрдүүлж бүрдүүлж өгсөн. Дээрэс нь одоо дэлхийн жишээ нийцүүлсэн мэдлэг бол усралыг оюутан залуус нь хөргөж өгдөг өгдөг байгаа. Одоо хүмүүс нь одоо иргэдэн бол одоо маш тийм нөхөрсөг тос ч хүмүүс өгдөг. Одоо мэдэхгүй одоо төр жишээ нь одоо төрлөө одоо юм мэдэхгүй одоо юу мэдэхгүй юм те одоо тулгарлаа гэдэг асуухад одоо Маш ээлдгэр одоо маш ойлгомжтой тайлбарч одоо өгдөг байгаа. Тэгэхээр маш соёлтой орно гэх юм аа та. Соёлт хүмүүс. За манай сургал одоо ойлтнуудыг өөр нь аллах чөлөө цагаар нь одоо үр бүтээлтэй өнгөрөхийг одоо эргэн зордог байх. Би одоо ирээд маш ер нь л актер удааг байгаа. Тэгсэн ч гэсэн одоо нэг хоёр гараа хоногийг өнгөрөөсөн байна. Аа энэ хугацаанд одоо маш олон тийм гадаад ойлтнуудад одоо танилцуулах одоо тийм арга хэмжээнд их тэр 7 хоног болгон их тогтмол зохиодог. Аа тэгээд дээрэс нь одоо би энэ тамирын талбай дээр одоо чөлөө цаг өнгөрөх одоо маш олон тийм тэмцээн оролтааныг ер нь тогтмол зохиодог. Анх би одоо 3 сард тэгээд хоёр дахь семестртэй одоо энэ энэ сургуулийг сонгож ирээд одоо тайван суралцах болсон. Аа тэгээд цаг цаг агаарын хөвдгүүд бол одоо маш зөрөтэй сэл та Монгол одоо өвөл дуусаад одоо хавар болж одоо ер нь хүүтэн талтай байсан. Харин тайванд бол борооны үйлдэл ихэлцээ одоо маш чиглэг дулаан уур амьсгалтай уур амьсгалын үйл нэгэн зөрөтэй байсан. Аа хоол ундны хөвдгүүд бол одоо өөртөө маш тохир өөртөө одоо өөртөө тохирсон хоолыг одоо хаанаас олооч аваад хүснээр одоо хоолоод өөртөө ингэдэ анхаарал явах боломжтой. За тайваны их сургуулиуд ер нь нийт жишээ нэг үл одоо маш ер нь оюутнууд та ер нь одоо оюутнууд руу ер нь анхаарсан төвлөрсөн оюутнууд дээр төвлөрсөн тэгээд Монголын их сургуулиудаас ялгаат нэг үл одоо мэдээж одоо шалгартай бол усралыг олгодог. Аа тэгээд маш оюутнууд та одоо чөлөө цаг цаг заавны одоо өнгөрөхөд маш их анхаарал явдаг тавьдаг байгаа. Хамгийн түрүүд одоо өөр их юм зориг эрмэслэг одоо тодорхойлоод өөрөө одоо тийм юм сурна нь одоо их орно ус их орондоо тийм ийг хийж бүтээгэн тулд одоо энэ усаас тийм ийм ийг одоо сурч мэднэ гэсэн тийм тодорхой зорилготой их хэрэгтэй. Тэгээд дээрэс нь одоо өөрөө одоо бэлтгэлийг сайн хангаад тийм мэдээж одоо хэл усан дээр одоо сайн анхаараад тэгсэн багтаад одоо тайван усад одоо мэдээж ямар ч тийм асуудал уу маш тав тухтай таатай ус байгаа. За тэгээд манай сургуулийг оюутан залуустай одоо зөвлөхөд одоо маш сонгон сонгож ирж суралцаарай. Hello everyone. We are at the CYT and then uh, I will have a few questions from Cho and then Connie and they're from Mainland Channel, right? Yes. yes. So uh, I I hope that uh, this information will be very helpful for the prospective students. And so let me start with the first question from Cho. 
And so what made you choose CYT and then what are you studying? And please introduce about a little bit about uh, I stayed in Taiwan about five years. Uh, I'm a management student. My major is finance. Uh, because I really like stocks, so I choose this uh, major. So um, next question will be that as an international student, so please describe your student experience here. And maybe you would uh, may add more about uh, the dormitory or the library or the place where you like to hang around the most. Uh, well, because I, I come from mainland China, uh, I don't have the uh, language barrier. Uh, every, stu every Taiwanese students are really kind. Uh, we are uh, like uh, um, play together. And uh, there, there, there are so many uh, places we, we can uh, we can use in uh, Chaoyang University. Uh, we got a really big library. Uh, we have we have a, a very big uh, playground. We can play basketball or volleyball. Uh, we can see so many uh, students play there uh, uh, after dinner. Yeah. yeah, I I really like the life in Taiwan. Okay. So, question from Kony: That uh, what? Why do we think uh, CYT is an attractive place for international students? Um, I think, like for the course setting, um, take my uh, faculty as an example. Like, um, it's a combination of theoretical knowledge and um, hands-on experience. Like, we have like a year overseas overseas internship or um, the internship in Taiwan, I mean, at least off campus. And uh, we have like three years theoretical knowledge and we take the mandatory courses and the selective courses. So how is the academic environment? And is it different from your home country and if yes, and then now? I mean, there's like only slightly different. I mean, as the academic environment, it's almost the same from mainland China and here in Taiwan. But um, the main difference, I think, is the course setting, as I mentioned before. And there's some more. Uh, um, as for my uh, university, Chaoyang, they're more focused on the um, after-school activity. I mean, we have like the same competition and um, and all kind of things. And I mean, the students here are more focused on the activities uh, than the academic study um, from my point of view. And um, yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> so my last question is, uh, what are your dreams and hopes for the future? And uh, please share how it is going to benefit your country by studying and uh, getting a degree from Taiwan. Oh, that's really a good question. I mean, um, I'm I'm now planning to go for my postgrad study in Europe, and I want to go like have a uh, dig deeper in my major right now. It's leisure service ma management, and uh, specialized in ecotourism. And I think what I learned here in Chaoyang, it's um, more um, the theoretical knowledge and. I can, like, based on the knowledge I n know right now, I can, like, move forward. And as for my future goal, I want to be a tourism consultant. Um, and I want to focus on the destination planning and be an entrepreneur. Good answer. And my last question for Cho is, uh, what would you advise for the newcoming students? And how are there some ways to succeed as a student at Taiwan University? Uh, well, I think uh, all of Taiwanese students are really kind, and uh, you don't worry about uh, uh, you don't worry you don't worry about uh, get together with them. They will uh, help you. Uh, also, your uh, also maybe you have a language barrier. Um, I think it's fine. It's okay. Maybe at first you can use some body language, and uh, maybe you stay here uh, like uh, two years uh, or more than two years. You can uh, uh, you can uh, speak Chinese so so well. So don't uh, worry about this and uh, uh, come to Taiwan. It it will be a good yeah good experience. So thank you very much both of you and hope this information will be helpful for the
prospective students who are willing to study at CYT in the near future. And thank you very much, you guys, and uh, wish you all the best. Thank you.